Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsal in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a um, less than satisfying ring pour in my opinion. So I am perfectly happy to do whatever it takes to have it become more of what I want it to be and less of what I'm seeing. And that includes probably using all kinds of Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and gold paint and maybe chain. And I probably should have also gone ahead and uh, added some more paint that I wanted to the surface. I've got quite a bit going on here. I have not torched. I want some purple. I use GAC 800 in all my colors to prevent cracking when I want to use thick paint. And this is that. <laughs> this is thick paint now. But I am getting happier by the moment with what I'm seeing. So I'm not complaining. I have all kinds of ideas. <laughs> I just hate wiping the paint off my spatula. Usually I like to uh, continue to use it. I think that purple is the ticket. And I'm not sure that I need to pull or swipe all of the paint that I've put in there. I'm kind of really liking quite a bit of what I'm seeing that I'm adding that I want to stay. So I'm just going to let it become an abstract expressionist piece of artwork. And I'm not going to whine about it. Even though I just sort of swiped that. <laughs> so what else do I want? I want some lighter orange. Yeah, that's making me happy. That's much, got much more life to it as far as I'm concerned. I'm very very much more satisfied. I like this red and I don't have much of it in here. I don't have any of it in here, I don't think. I. That's a very magenta red that I happen to be in love with, always. I just will make it exactly what I want it to be, since it really wasn't anywhere close to what I had in mind, as far as a ring pour goes. I'm not saying that I think trying attempting my attempt to do a yellow ring pour was probably my best idea anyway. I think I'd prefer to do with gold and orange to tell you the truth. I like that yellow and I think I want some more. And purple and yellow are opposites. But if you use anything, even if it's an opposite in the right proportions, it will become a lot more like something you really want. And I'm not minding any of that now. I haven't torched and I suspect we'll get some interesting things happening when we do finally torch. Now if I decided to continue... Ha! <laughs> can't figure out where to put my paint down. Um, with the spatula, I would swipe and probably create some cells, but I'm not really doing that right now. I'm just taking advantage of the colors that I see. But any agitation of the paint usually leads to some kind of um, agitation of the paint. <laughs> leads to selling, creating patterns. I don't see that much I need to change right now anymore. I like what I see. I know I could use chain but I'm going to be just be happy with what I've got right at the moment because it's more of a party than what I had. I do tend to want to spiral things out, so I'm just going to give in to my whim and spiral a few things out. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Yes. I kind of want to take that black right here. and lead it around.
everywhere. That is exciting. Ta! Cool. So what else am I going to do? I have some white, but I'm thinking I might want some more. I like my little black streamers a lot. And the spirals at the end of them. Where else do I want? Do I want some dots? Do I want gold? Do I want white? I think I might want a little bit of white, but I'm not sure how much I want. And I'm just going to keep doing my spirals. And waggles, too. So, I'm thinking it would be nice to look at that from another direction. That's not bothering me. I'm actually having a ball. Little waggle. Little spiral. Some balance. Sort of got what I wanted. Not what I originally wanted, but um, I'm happy to be able to make this into something that I really enjoy. And I want some pink right there with that orange. And maybe do the same thing right over here. I have some black that's missing from that corner. So this is not what I intended, but that's okay. Because being flexible is a really good thing when you're playing with fluid acrylics. So I should tell you some of the things I usually tell you. Ah, I think, other than the fact that there's three Facebook albums of wet and dry artworks at the bottom of the description under the video under when you click show more. Do I see anything else I really want? I kind of want something here. That's the wrong end. Oh, that must mean I don't have my glasses on. So do I want a little bit more? I don't know. I kind of do. I think that's the last thing I want to put on there. And that's, that's good. I'm going to torch. I'm going to read my crib notes. So I have Teespring below the video. And those are clothing items that I put my artwork on and so if you buy them it helps me out and I appreciate that. If you would like to help me out you can contribute through Patreon or PayPal which are links below the video and on my YouTube header and by doing so you will be included into a monthly contest where one of three or four paintings is uh, offered to the person whose name I draw. And this month is February 28th and next month will be at the end of um, March obviously. Let's see what else. My recipe, my paint pouring recipe is in the video. Excuse me, in the description below the video. Where's my skewer? I lost my skewer. I got one right here. What did I just see? I just saw something I wanted very much to change. I think that will work right there. I keep changing it to the wrong side. Yeah, I don't mind that. There was something else I saw. Where was it? Right there. That I forgot to spiral. Alright. So, there's Pinterest and Instagram along with the volumes 1, 2, 3 of Wet Dry Artworks at the bottom of the video's description. Please give me a thumbs up if you want to help me out because it helps my placement on YouTube. Um, my art is for sale. All you have to do is make a make a request for me on, uh, in comments on YouTube and I will give you an email address. I do teach classes in Spring Hill, Florida at the studio one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask me about that. Um, I mentioned that there's gold mica powder, which is my gold paint, my OXO omelet turning spatula, which are both in the bucket. I'll wipe one on my pants. Best paint spreading spatula around. Use the bigger one, it's better. I have both. I like having both now. 
Um, my book is called Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link as well as the OXO omelette turning spatula, the Princeton art tool spatulas, and the gold mica powder, and a lot of other cool stuff. Um, in the last 20 seconds of the video, probably right now, you are going to see links to my website and to a playlist that shows the winning artworks, and also a playlist where you can find the rest of my videos. It might be the easiest way to find the rest of my videos because I've noticed it's not an easy thing to find my videos on my playlist. I think as long as we're all still here and my timer hasn't gone off, I have to do a little more even though I said I wouldn't. You know you cannot trust me by now. <laughs> so I'm not going to worry about that. I kind of think that could have been gold, but that's okay. I think if I put any gold in here now, it might sink away. Shall we find out? <laughs> See how I am? I like that. Okay, so I wasn't anywhere near done when I said I was. I lied again. But I'm getting closer now. And who knows what will sink away. I guess we'll find out. I torched to release the bubbles in the paint. I torched to release patterns in the paint. There's so much paint on here right now. I want to make sure you know I use GAC 800 by Golden in my paint mixtures, all of them, 10 or 20 percent to color, and then I mix in the Floetrol and the Deco Art Pouring Medium. And by doing so, when I have heavy paint, it does not crack. The only thing that I see that I want now is right there. I want a spiral right there. I don't know if I can keep it because the paint is so thick, but I'm willing to give it a try. All right, so that's it. This is Priscilla Batzell saying thank you for all the contributions to the studio to keep me painting in the past. I really appreciate them. I don't think that belongs. And thank you for all the great comments. I really do appreciate those. You make my day all the time, and I love you guys. And I know I tell you that all the time. And I've actually done so much extra work on this, I don't think I'm going to uh, be doing much of anything else. Although, as I say that, I'm doing something else. And I like it. I needed that little bit of yellow over there. kind of think I might need this little bit of yellow over here, too. Yep. I'm happy. I love this painting now. It's not what it started out to be. But who cares? Not me, that's for sure. All right, you guys. I'm going to zoom out so we can try and find a place to... No, that's the wrong direction. It's a bit like graffiti. I love graffiti. Most of it, anyway. All right, if I counted to 20, it wouldn't be interrupted. I'm sorry it's going to be interrupted by end screens, but um, got to got to give a girl a chance to make a living. So um, come see some more videos if you get a chance. There's over 430 of them. I love you guys. I told you that. I'll tell you. I'll never stop telling you. Thank you. For, thank you. And I'll see you again. Thank you to 48,000 of you. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Finally, huh? Whew.